Rio Maitland is the host of his podcast, What's Next with Rio, and he's here just now. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Yep, I'm doing great as well. So, the What's Next with Rio podcast, what do you like to get up to in the podcast? What kind of thing do you do? Um, yeah, so I just sit down with um, all types of guests, you know, whether it's athletes, entrepreneurs, uh, musicians, you know, um, we sit down and, you know, we have a conversation and we talk about what's what's going on in their life and what they have coming up next in their life. So uh, it's a very fun uh, experience and um, a good opportunity to um, promote up and coming, you know, individuals. And, uh, you know, it's been a great experience for me so far. Yeah. And what is it you enjoy most about interviewing people? Yeah. Um, I believe that everybody has their own, you know, specific story. You know, um, you have a story, I have a story, you know, we all come from, we all come from different backgrounds and um, uh, it's just fun, you know, to interview people, you know, to see where they're coming from. And, you know, I get to apply to my own life. You know, I get to see where, see where, you know, their strengths or their weaknesses, you know, and their specific stories and uh just you know use use their lessons and apply it to my own life so it's really cool it's a really cool experience for me and are there any favorite guests that you've had so far oh man yeah um it, it's really awesome because you know every guest like i said has their own specific story and yeah. uh um, I would say my favorite guest so far, I, I would have to go with the one that that's really moved me, you know, the most. Um, I sat down and talked with uh, Mitch O'Reilly. He's a, a upcoming, you know, a promising basketball player here in the United States. Um, he's uh, committed to play at the Division One next year. And um, a few years back, you know, his parents passed away. And um, for his signing day this year, you know, he 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 wanted to pay tribute to his mother who passed away and so he signed on her birthday so i thought that was a really cool story for me so i thought that was one of my favorite guests you know there, there's a lot of guests that 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 really interests me also so um i'll go with that one yeah because there are so many people that have so much inspirational stories and sometimes you don't realize right. how inspirational a guest is gonna be before you interview them right right definitely and i like the interview that you did with yourself yes yeah that that was very fun um mm. you know i just came up with the idea just kind of brainstormed and went with it you know why not interview myself you know it's a great way to you know sell my story you know and yeah. kind of just uh go with that um but it was a great experience um a uh, great opportunity to, for me to you know uh let everybody know what i'm about you know mm-hmm. what let everybody know what the host is about let let everybody know where i'm coming from and what i want to do and why i want to make this podcast yeah and how did that work technically was it a technical nightmare to talk to yourself or did you find a way to make it work oh uh, at first it was a little challenging you know uh coming up with the idea but you know once we had the idea we kind of just went with it you know once we had the idea yeah. it was just the little things like you know um uh, i would say you have to be a really good actor you know yeah. just taking different takes and stuff like that but it was a fun it was a very fun process um in the long run but i would say uh the most challenging part about it is probably just the editing and stuff like mm-hmm. that but luckily you know i was i was i was uh being aided by you know a friend of mine who, who edits his videos as well so you know obviously I, it wasn't just me who was you know doing all the work so it, it definitely helps when you have somebody who's uh you know giving you aid yeah and in terms of a normal podcast episode do you have somebody else that helps with editing no um mm-hmm. no I, I pretty much do everything myself yeah. um but you know I, I, that doesn't mean you know i want to take all the credit you know there's mm. definitely people in my circle that uh, uh you know um helping me throughout this whole process you know people that are you know help me find guests and stuff like that there's definitely a yeah. team you know part of this uh what's next with rio podcast but as far as editing and marketing and you know uh, publishing everything you know I, i'm doing that right now for, by, by myself but wow. um it's not just me you know there's definitely people behind the scenes yeah so what is your story how did you end up making this podcast yeah so uh i always grew up you know i was always a podcast fan you know i'm a, maybe it's just me because you know i'm a person that you know i, I like to you know uh google stuff search yeah. stuff you know ask questions you know i'm very curious i have a very very strong curiosity but um i would say uh the podcast came into mind you know i always wanted to make podcasts you know mm. uh it was just about the timing you know it was about whether i wanted to do it now or a few years from now and yeah. uh i thought it was perfect timing because you know uh, i decided to take a podcast class while i was at you know university at the university of kentucky mm. uh so you know that gave me kind of the blueprint on you know how to do things in terms of you know editing and, mm. um 
you know, uh, recording my podcast and trying to make it the best uh, quality podcast that I can. So I would definitely say, um, you know, uh, once I took that class, I kind of went with it, um, test the waters a little bit. And, you know, it's been a great process so far. So, yeah, that's kind of cool that they're doing podcast classes at universities now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, man, it's, it's crazy because you got so many different classes and there's this class is for all types of things. You know, I took a film class as well. You know, that definitely helped me in my terminologies and stuff like that. And just getting an idea of what I want to do. So, yeah, there's a whole bunch of classes, you know, at universities these days. Yeah. And podcasts seem to be the future. I think there's some sort of statistic where there's billions of YouTube channels and a fraction of that amount is the amount of podcasts but it's rising yeah yeah man i mean i i kind of thought it had a lot to do with covid you know and mm. quarantine you know and we kind of saw you know podcasts take off from there but you know uh, it's rising i hope it continues to do so yeah did you start this podcast during covid then no i mm. so no I, I started this podcast last fall um uh no nah, i did not start it during covid but you know um i, I watched a lot of podcasts during covid so yeah <laughs> i mean it, i I'm I'm sure it, that COVID definitely has some credit in it. <laughs> mm, yeah. And I guess the thing is, since COVID, it's maybe been easier to find guests because I guess during lockdowns and things, people have got nothing better to do. So they might as well say yes to an interview. And also, That's a good point. they have realised that Zoom exists and there are ways to do interviews without having to meet up. So well, you can interview somebody from China or whatever. Yeah, it definitely provides an opportunity. You know, everybody's more free, more available, you know, to, to mm. set up an interview. But yeah, you, that, you, that's something that, you know, COVID-19 has, you know, brought to the world. That's good. So, yeah. <laughs> If somebody declines an interview with you during COVID, you know that they really don't want to do the interview. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So what's coming up for the podcast? Have you got any guests planned or people that you're thinking of asking on? Yeah, man, I've, I've got a whole list, you know, uh, mm. uh, me and my team, you know, we, we're out, you know, we're recruiting i got multiple people that's out uh you know recruiting people and uh yeah. asking them if they wanted to come on the podcast um obviously we just don't go for random people we, mm -hmm. we go for uh specific type of people but um we have a whole list you know a long list that uh we want to get uh we we uh um i would definitely say uh if, if i had i'll tell you this i don't want to spoil anything for mm -hmm. any fans or anything like that um I mean, we had do have some big names coming up mm -hmm. um to finish out this season um but, you know, for my season finale, uh, we will be uh, joined by my brother, who's a professional basketball player in um, Madrid, Spain. Wow. But, um, yeah, so it, it's going to be good. Lot, lots of more, lots of great content coming, coming to uh, everybody. Uh, but I would say... Um, um just just keep your eyes you know keep your eyes open you know yeah. guests are coming you know left and right athletes you know entrepreneurs all types of guests you know everybody has a story so just like be prepared and um we're gonna get it to you guys yeah and who do you look for in your ideal guest is it a celebrity or can it be anyone really that has a good story to tell yeah um it, to be honest it can be anyone you know uh once you have a you know great story i kind of just go with it yeah um you know celebrities help because you know that my viewers want to see that you know mm. you know it always is you know intriguing to see uh celebrities you know story you know i think podcast kind of uh does a good job of you know uh displaying people uh, in a different way than other newscasts does or whether um mm. it's a regular interview you see on the news you know a podcast interview is a lot you know more in depth and more yeah. detailed and you get to you get to see the you know true personality of the individual but um i would just say uh we're just gonna uh we, we can have pretty much anyone on you know yeah. once they have a you know remarkable story to tell you know we kind of go with it but mm. like i said we have a list that we want to go after and if there is anybody who you know we think should be on that list you know we kind of just add it and just go with it yeah and that's so true actually for podcasts because on the tv you don't really have enough time to get to know somebody and also the type of guests exactly. they have on tv and radio have to probably fall into a category you can't just have somebody on because you want them on absolutely absolutely yeah that that's one thing that i noticed you know from watching podcasts you know 
I, I honestly, I, I don't even really watch the interviews on, you know, TV. I just watch the interviews on podcasts. You know, you get better questions, um, you know, and the, and the, 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 the guest tends to, you know, go into more detail and, you know, reveal things that, you know, you might never know. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, where are we able to find your podcast if we'd like to listen and watch as well, of course? Yeah. So uh, if you want to listen or watch, uh, we're, our podcast is streaming on all platforms. Uh, we are available on Spotify. Uh, we are available on Apple Podcasts as well. Um, we are also available on YouTube channel if you want to watch the video. Um, lots of great content there. And, uh, you know, you can also follow our Instagram pages and Twitter pages and also TikTok. So uh, we're, we're, we're out there. Just got to search. Yeah, great. Well, many thanks for coming on today. It's been great having you on the air. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.